a lot of this stuff you've already seen before from me, but I haven't made a video in a little bit, so I figured I would just make one. Um, there's a couple of new things that I'll show you, so anyway, um, I had ordered the uh, the Cookies and Cream Premier Protein Shakes. I've been doing the Walmart pickup where you order your groceries on the app and then you go and pick them up. And they didn't have any, so they were going to substitute them for the Premier Protein Caramel ones. And I know that I'm, anomal I'm an anomaly, but I'm not a big fan of those. I just think they're kind of bitter. Uh, so, anyway, I just I decided to get these instead. And then I found these on clearance at Smith's, which is Kroger. Um, they were four for two fifty, And so I was like, well, you know... I got two packages and I was like, it's not that big of a loss if I don't like them, but they're actually pretty decent. They're not something that I would normally purchase because there's other shakes that are a lot better uh, tasting. And the stats are okay on this. Um, 180 calories, three net carbs, 25 grams protein. I drank half of one this morning so far. But yeah, they're not bad. So it was it was worth, you know, the, the $5 that I spent for the eight of them that I got. Um, I've shown these before, but my husband and I will eat these on like a lazy night um, or like when we're trying to save money, they're just inexpensive and they taste good and you know, I'll usually eat one of these. So we do that on occasion, like maybe once a week if that. So that's something that I have in my freezer right now and uh, we'll probably, probably eat um, this week. These are new, I've never had these before. Um, they were on sale for $2. I normally have been, well, this last week, and or two weeks actually, I've been eating P3s. They actually have like five packs at Walmart for like $7, um, at least at the Walmart that I've been going to, but they also didn't have those this time. So um, I went with something else and these were on sale two for four. So I got four of these for lunches this week. Um, because it's not like a whole lot of food, I'll probably just eat the whole thing. So, 270 calories, 23 net carbs, 12 grams protein. I know that it's not the best stats. It isn't the worst thing that I could be eating for lunch though. So, and they were inexpensive and I'm looking forward to trying them. So, so that will be lunch this week. Um, I got some more of these caramel uh, Fit Crunch bars. Um, I really like these. So, yeah, these are good for like a part of like my breakfast or for a snack. So, I'll be eating those. And again, the stats are pretty much right on the front. These are my favorite Power Crunch bars. I just, I really still am loving the Power Crunch bars. I really actually crave them. So, these will be breakfast. I've already had one today. Uh, for breakfast. So I had one of these and I had half of one of these with some water and then now I'm drinking cashew milk uh, mixed with water. So that's what I've had so far. I'm gonna make uh, French toast and eggs in a little bit for me and my husband. I like to make French toast sometimes on the weekends and then um, my husband and I will just like pack it for for breakfast throughout the week. So that's I've got this and I've got some heavy cream in the fridge. Um, so yeah gonna make french toast um some more like fat free hot chocolate i usually drink this like once a day while i'm at work it's got 25 calories in it um it's got four carbs so uh one gram of protein it's just it's something that i like it kind of mixes it mixes things up because normally i'm just drinking tea or my water mixed with cashew milk or protein shakes so yeah I enjoy that. Um, I've been eating these as snacks. They're a little higher in calories, but it, they're pretty filling. So I'll either eat this as part of my breakfast, like with like a yogurt. And I do have to kind of space them out because I don't have that much room. But um, that's kind of how I eat. I eat spaced out like small things throughout the day to keep me going. But I do enjoy these. They have a couple of different flavors. Um, so this one is cheese, cherry, and semi-sweet chocolate, 260 calories, 25 net carbs, 6 grams protein. Look, I know that I don't eat like your typical weight loss surgery patient, and I'm not going to tell you that eating this way is like 
what I would recommend because everybody's body is different and you know I'm up, up a couple of pounds but not necessarily because of this stuff this isn't the stuff that makes me like gain weight it's um, you know it's like I got cheesecake or whatever for my birthday and it's gonna it's lasted me a couple of days um, it's stuff like that it's you know eating like a tortilla in like a burrito that has potatoes in it like eating that kind of stuff often um, you know, eating pizza, you know, which I also had for my birthday. It's that kind of stuff that will like make the scale go up, but not by like a lot. It always kind of evens out and I get back to like a normal place. Um, I haven't weighed myself in a little bit because my scale is out of batteries. So I need to get new batteries. They have like, they take weird batteries my, or it takes weird batteries. Um, not like your conventional batteries. So, um, but I did go to the doctor recently and when I got weighed there, I was 159, but I wasn't fasting, and I usually weigh myself uh, before I eat or drink anything in the morning when I do weigh myself. So the last time I weighed myself, I was about 157. I venture to guess I'm in that in that ballpark, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but um, basically my lowest weight was like that I maintained was like 153. And um, I've been between 153 and 157 for several months now. And so I'm pretty much in maintenance. I am working out. Um, so I feel like I'm getting, I'm getting stronger. Um, I am eating more. So I'm okay with where I'm at. But yeah, I'm not gonna tell you that you should necessarily eat the way that I'm eating. I'm just showing you what I'm eating. You have to find what works for you and then like do that. You know, and sometimes you need to play around and, and see how different things make you feel and and whatnot. So anyway, rant over. So um, I got a lot of yogurts. These are just a couple of um, examples. I got like 10 yogurts because my shift at work changed and now I'm doing four tens. So uh, where I normally would be getting home and eating dinner, we usually eat dinner pretty early and that's basically because of me. Sometimes, you know, my husband will be hungry early too, but I definitely am always hungry, like right after work. Um, and I'm working till six. So I'm eating more at work and I have to like kind of adjust for that because I don't want to, you know, like put on weight uh, with my new shift. But anyway, so one way to help combat that is that I'm gonna eat more yogurt. Um, so I have two of these, you know, I, cause I really like these ones. Um, it has 150 calories, let's see, 22 carbs, 12 grams of protein, and they're really tasty. So 150 calories is not too bad. And I, so I, I pay attention to labels, but I also just kind of eat what I want to eat. Like I, you know, I stick to things that I think are semi-healthy also convenient because I don't have a lot of time um, to like cook. I'm not a big cook anyway. You know, I'm trying to save money as much as I can. So yeah, anyway, I, and I know convenience food isn't always the best way to save money. So I'm just trying to find a happy balance between all of those things. Um, but I really actually do like this Honey Crunch Bunch ones. Uh, like those are really good. Um, so then we have the 100 calorie whips. I have a couple of flavors of these. These are really tasty. And so 100 calories, 15 carbs, and nine grams protein. And then I have some of these like in different flavors. These have pretty good stats. Of course they have like the fake sugar in them, which I don't love. I mean, these might too, probably not as much. Yeah, super loose. So yeah, there is fake sugar. I venture to guess there's more fake sugar in here, but I could be wrong. Yep, super loose. I don't know which has more. Honestly, it doesn't really matter. Um, I try not to eat too much fake sugar, but it, it, it does get into my diet. And so, like, like I said, again, you have to like find a balance between eating healthy and eating in a way you can afford and eating in a way that you can maintain your weight or keep losing weight. So just do what you can. And for me, um, if I eat two yogurts a day rather than, you know, an extra protein bar or something like that, 
then I'm saving on some calories. Um, it has protein in it, which is good. So that's kind of what I'm doing, is I'll eat like two yogurts a day and that will help tide me over until dinner time. So anyway, um, I think I showed this last time. We still haven't eaten them, but uh, we'll probably eat, eat them soon. Um, shells and cheese, put some bacon bits in it. Um, obviously the stats are these are not really good, but uh, it's only something that we'll eat on occasion. So, bacon bits are a good way to add a little protein and some flavor and some sodium. But yeah, anyway, I like to put the bacon bits in eggs, like scrambled eggs, stuff like that. And also, it's good with the mac and cheese. Um, so finally, I'm showing you, I have some Enlightened. Um, whenever I feel like I'm going a little, like, a little overboard with what I'm eating, especially in regards to sweets, I will buy Enlightened um, because I feel like it helps get me back on track. I will, I am a person that eats dessert every night. That's who I am. That's what I enjoy. So I just account for it. Um, but something that I started to do, I never used to do this. I always would just eat it out of the pint, okay? Um, and I would get through like three fourths of it. And I actually ate a whole pint of the Snickerdoodle. That one's like 240 calories. I ate a whole pint of it and then I had hiccups for like 20 minutes because it was too much. Um, so I have the peanut butter chocolate chip in my freezer, which is really tasty. If you haven't tried that one, it's in an orange container. Um, but that one's, you know, I ate half of it. I scooped it out into a bowl, which is something like I was saying I never do. I never just scoop it out into a bowl, but I did. And then I put some Cool Whip, like a good amount of Cool Whip with it. It saved me on calories. It prolonged my ice cream. It was really, really tasty. It felt decadent. So yeah, that is something that I would recommend. Um, I think that, you know, I might go for like whipped cream next time, maybe even sugar-free whipped cream, um, and see how that, see how that sits with me, you know, just to like save on calories. Um, cause I do like to save, you know, when I can on calories, but other times I'm just like, fuck it, I'm gonna eat what I want to and I'm gonna live my life. <laughs> so, um, yeah, anyway, these are the stats on Cool Whip. 25 calories for two tablespoons, two carbs, not like terrible, not terrible, you know, so. Um, and then we've got the butter pecan, which is really, really tasty. So I'll eat like half of this at a time with some Cool Whip. And then this one is like my favorite flavor, the frozen hot cocoa. Um, so yeah, as far as dinners go, cause I know this isn't a lot of food. This is obviously not what I'm going to be eating all week. Um, like this week, we didn't have like a lot of dinners that we had planned out. Sometimes we'll plan out dinners and then we just, and like things happen, you know, like we'll go hang out with friends. Um, or I don't know, like we won't feel good. We won't want to cook or tired. You know what I mean? Like, and now me getting home really late, um, which like I just had my first week of my new shift last week. So we end up eating, ch uh, like cheap fast food, you know, a good amount of the time. And so that's probably what we'll end up doing. You know, one night I'm sure we'll have burgers because that's something that we do. I usually get bacon burgers from somewhere and I just don't eat the bun the majority of the time. Like on my birthday, I had like half of a bun, but it was also because like trying to eat it while we were out without like a fork and it was just really messy. So I did eat one bun, but normally I'll eat my burgers without the bun with bacon, with sauce. Um, so yeah, we'll do that and then we'll probably do like um, some kind of a Mexican fast food one night and then the other night it just, I don't know, we'll see what happens. Tonight I think my husband is actually going to make um, ground beef with peppers if they're still good. Um, we bought some like chopped up peppers and onions and uh, so yeah, that'll be good. Um, we got these little street taco tortillas um, for those you know I may eat one of those so 
that's probably what we'll do for t for dinner tonight. We might do pizzas one night. Um, and then we might do macaroni one night and then, you know, like fast food a couple of nights. It, it just depends. We'll, we'll just kind of see what happens. Um, but yeah, anyway, so that's, that's what I'm eating this week. Uh, I still have some leftover cheesecake in the fridge, so that will definitely be dessert. Um, I have some peanut butter cups in the fridge. So yeah, anyway, um, I hope you guys are doing well and I'll talk to you later.